Well, the feds won the latest round of their battle with Tonawanda Coke today. Good evening. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. Now, there wasn't a final decision today, but we did get a step closer in the fight over the pollution that the plant is letting off in the North Towns. And to your side's Kelly Dudzik. She was in court today. She's live with the latest. Hey, Kelly. Scott and Mary Alice, this afternoon, Judge William Scretney denied Tonawanda Coke's request to hold a hearing in late October and instead scheduled this hearing for Friday morning. At issue is whether Tonawanda Coke has violated the terms of its probation for previously violating the Clean Air Act. Of highest importance are the levels of benzene and raw Coke oven gas permitted to get into the air. Today, the judge went over the steps Tonawanda Coke is now taking to repair some of the ovens, saying that at least since last week, Tonawanda Coke is attempting attempting fixes. The judge said federal prosecutors don't want Tonawanda Coke to operate until it doesn't violate the Clean Air Act and Tonawanda Coke wanted to delay the hearing until after its hearing with the DEC October 10th, but the judge didn't want to wait that long. The documents we filed on Friday, which include color photographs and show black smoke, blue smoke, all types of different uh, emissions going into the air. Uh, Establish that there are hazardous air pollutants. Um, the smell of coke oven gas is, is apparent. That is a known hazardous air pollutant. I'm a resident of Grand Island, and I don't believe there's any proof in the record showing that there's an imminent and substantial endangerment to the community. So, and I don't think actually it would be appropriate for me to talk any further given that now the judge has given such a short timetable on Friday. Friday's hearing will include opening statements and witnesses. And after the hearing, if the judge decides Tonawanda Coke has violated its probation, he can continue that probation or he can revoke it and resentence Tonawanda Coke. He says that th that sentence would have to protect the public. Live in downtown Buffalo tonight, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.